Messenger. Still. It's a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. We are on Boulder Canyon. Today, Emily's driving. We got a big group of people. Should be a good time. Yeah, just like that. There you go. And just keep your front tire on this rock a little bit. Yeah, just like that. You can go a little bit more passenger now. Turn front driver a little. Yeah, there you go. Now you can go a little bit rear, rear passenger. Yeah, I like that. One thing about rear steer is you don't want to forget that it's turned and start driving forward. You always want to know where it's at. Otherwise, it can get you in trouble. There, now come back driver as it climbs. Yeah, like that. And rear passenger. Little bit rear passenger. Yeah. Little bit more rear passenger. Yeah. Okay, let's give him some space. All right, how'd that go? It was fun. How you feeling today? Pretty good. Are you feeling confident? How about this next spot? It looks a little tricky, but I think we've got it. I think you got it too. Not that much rear passenger. Come back rear driver, right there. Yeah. Keep following that. No. Keep following that. Keep following that. Now start turning front passenger, front passenger. Right there. Yeah. As it comes up, start turning driver. Yeah. There you go. Keep turning driver like that. Keep bringing it up. Now, stay driver. Rear driver a little. Yeah, right there. Now follow that. Start turning front. Rear driver and front passenger, right there. Okay, not that much front passenger, right there, yeah. The truth is, yes, I'm still spotting her through this trail. However, this trail is hard. If this trail were easy, everybody would be doing it. It's okay. There you go, Ems. The back swinging in the place. That's it, girl. Em's rear passenger now. So it doesn't, yeah, right there, right there. It's gonna lean you pretty good as this comes up. I was thinking if you have a rear come up. All right, Em's. A little bit more rear driver. Let's let's try rear driver again. A little bit more. There. Now try that again. You're almost there. Em's rear passenger now. Right there. Now come forward. Okay. Rear driver again. Slipping off. I feel like if it got her rear yeah. the passenger got back in it. All right. Now try that again. Just stay with it. Don't stop. You're okay. Stay front driver. Nice job. Good job, Ems. Front driver. And then what you can do is you can go rear passenger around this rock. Yeah, like that. All right, you're almost there. Yeah, 
Imps, front passenger. Stay more front passenger. Rear driver. There it is. There it is. You got it. Now, now we just start staying front passenger. Not that much. There you go. And then just watch your rear over the rocks. There you go. Mike and Brandy Murphy start working their way through this section. The trickiest part here is getting your front axle up and over these two rocks. Mike decides to try another approach and he has to keep that driver's side tire pretty hard up on that rock, otherwise it'll slip off. Yeah, if he stays driver, it'll... Oh, whoa! whoa. There you go. That's, that was perfect. <laughs> it's a real fine line. It's... As you turn passenger around this corner, it's going to drop that rear passenger tire down in the hole, which is going to lean you over pretty hard. So you really have to stay confident and just drive through it. There it is. Ems, you can go a little rear passenger. Yeah, right, no, passenger, yeah. There you go, like that. We started really staying high up on this driver's rock just to avoid falling down and getting hung up on the rocks below. They may not look like it, but they're huge dip hangers. Em, stay, stage hard driver. Keep staying like that. Yeah, just like that. Harder driver. Right there. Rear driver a little. Okay, right there. Now front passenger. As you come forward, yeah. Just like that. Not that much. Just that, yeah, right there. You can say a look, just follow that. Front pet driver, front driver, yeah. There you go. And stay front driver, I want to take you over this rock. Ends real slow and easy. Rear driver. Okay, and then front passenger as you come forward. As you come forward. Stay front driver for now. Easy, easy. There you go. Now you can go far front passenger. Yeah. Come back.
Now at this point, this spot feels terrible right here because as that back driver side tire is driving into that undercut, it feels very vertical. One of the dogs ran out in front of the crawler, so we had to stop her for a second to clear the dog. Okay, a little bit faster. Uh, Better. Let's okay. see what happens. Real slow. Right here, we should have had her a little bit more to the driver's side. As that back passenger tire starts hanging, we slid the front off the line, and the front ends up dropping too early on the passenger side of that rock. Passenger. Right? What are you saying? Rear passenger, so you don't fall in the hole. Right there. A couple weeks ago we had just drove her up this one with no issue. This time we were off the line a little bit so we knew we were going to either need to back her up or just pull the winch cable and pull her forward. Now this spot feels terrible to back up so we decide the best thing to do is just get out that winch. Alright, can you let the winch out? Oh, we can just take it to that. What? What? It's not going backwards. Hurry up. Uh, it doesn't, free pool don't work. All right, all right. You're going to have to put it here and drive a little bit as you poke the wind. Bob, you might want to straighten the back tires. Straighten the back Straight tires. The there you go. OK, now winch in as you go forward. Emily's got to get used to running the winch while driving. You have to pull on the winch while driving forward so the winch isn't doing all the work. It's okay, it's bringing the back up. You have to do both at the same time. Yeah. See how that is? Let me look at the other side. It's good. Okay. It's good. See if you can't drive out of it, Em. And no just way. drive from there. You're okay. A little bit weird driver. Yeah, like that. You look pretty serious about winching in. Hey, was that the first time you had the winch over an obstacle by yourself? Yes. Were you scared? Kind of. You were? Yeah, I didn't like having the snowy sledding. You didn't feel like confident it was holding you in place though? No. No? You didn't trust it? No? Okay. Alright, in three, two, one, go. 
I mean, stop. Hey, do you want the other little? Yeah, with the little guy here. I backed off it last time I did that, and it, it got a little, it got a little spooky. Yeah. But I didn't want to. Do, I know how it felt. Yeah. I didn't want to do that to her. <laughs> well, it happens. It's no big deal. It's safer with using the winch. I just didn't want him to fall off on this side. Like what Ems just did. This time we're going to drop Emily in through this obstacle off to the side. Usually we go right up the middle of it, but we're going to try this approach just to do something different. Right here she does a really good job with throttle and brake control because you don't want to drop down into this too fast. When you go nice and slow in control, everything stays very even and controlled. She does a really good job at just continuing to keep a steady throttle control and working her way through this section. I mean the crawler is still way better. That's that's for sure. <laughs> Stay front passenger. Mike does a great job at crawling right up the exit. Just getting that back over that leg. That's, that's the end of that one. Yeah, I'm so. They do. They do.
Gabe ends up dropping back down it. Then a few of us ended up just running the trail backwards, which was a lot of fun. I had never done that before. 